Hi everyone, welcome to this uh, tutorial video about AIM IK and how to set it up on a character. So first, we have this uh, dummy character here that's playing just uh, this uh, idle animation, holding a weapon. So first we want to start by adding the AIM IK component here. Now there are a bunch of uh, parameters here that you don't really need to pay attention at this time. The first uh, most important thing is the uh, AIM transform. Uh, it's uh, often confused with the target transform. Uh, the AIM transform is not the target, it's actually it's the, the object that you want to aim at the target. The gun or the hand bone or whatever. So uh, let's just go and find this uh, weapon here. Uh, first we see uh, that this uh, weapon's transform is actually not uh, not uh, where it's supposed to be uh, for MIK you need it to be aligned with the barrel of the gun so let's just add uh, empty child object and just uh, move it so that it uh, matches exactly with the position of the uh, barrel so we just we can move it back here a little bit okay so we just uh, we rename it to aim transform and we assign it to this aim transform slot now you can see which axis is uh, supposed to be uh, pointing towards the target it's the blue one so it's uh, it's uh, correct here the axis doesn't need to be changed in this case. Uh, next we just uh, need to assign some bones so click on the plus button here a couple of times so we add uh, let's, let's start by adding the spine bones spine now you see we have all the bones assigned uh, and you can see them uh, in the scene view uh, those little uh, dots here are uh, the bones and this cone here is the aim transform it's supposed to be pointing towards the direction uh, that you want to be aimed anyway uh, let's just add one more bone here the neck bone now if, if we play the scene you see some uh, little bit weird behavior you might think that the uh, solver is broken or something is messed up but actually it's uh, exactly how the solver is supposed to work it takes the animated pose of the character and uh, it bends the, the bones so that the aim transform would be pointing towards the target so if uh, the starting pose in the animation the weapon is held down then in order to achieve this horizontal aiming it needs to bend the spine uh, 90 degrees so if I just blend in and out the weight property here you see that uh, this behavior now to fix this we need uh, we need to change the animation a bit so uh, the aiming process would start from uh, horizontal aiming direction so it would be a bit less work for AMIK and it would, need, would not need to bend the spine that much. So to do that we have this uh, dummies uh, animator uh, controller here open. We see that it's just a single state here for this demo purpose. It's the it's standing idle animation in which the weapon is held down. So we just uh, create a new layer here, call it upper body aiming uh, we add an empty state now we need just uh, an aiming pose uh, standing front so this one is just a static aiming pose aiming forward and nothing else to it so uh, we also need if we need to add it on top of uh, some kind of locomotion, it's good to use uh, 
an upper body mask for this layer. So we do that by creating an avatar mask, name it upper body, go to humanoid and uh, disable the entire lower body. And we can click on this upper body aiming layers settings and assign that upper body mask to this whole layer. So basically this layer <coughs> will only apply to uh, the upper body of the character. And we set weight to 1. Now we play the scene again. And we see this uh, target uh, starts uh, from below ground because it's uh, initially in this position. So anyway. Now we see that we have basically already a very good result. Uh, something you need to notice here is uh, the individual bone weights. So that is really useful for uh, adjusting the exact look of this uh, AMIK and how it bends the spine, how, each, uh, how much each, each bone is uh, represented in the aiming process. Now if you want to aim uh, backwards you will have a little problem because for aim, aim IK there is a singularity point exactly 180 degrees uh, from the original pose. It, it just it doesn't know at this point uh, which way is closer to uh, reach uh, the aiming target. So, uh, so it, here we have the clamp weight property uh, exactly for this. It's, it just uh, it works exactly like the clamp weight works in Unity's built-in uh, look at uh, function. We set it to 0 0.5 then we can uh, aim up to 90 degrees and it will just uh, smoothly go back to original pose when the target is at that uh, singularity point. Uh, we have another slot here, it's called uh, Pole Target. Now we can create an empty game object, move it somewhere here, up, assign it as the Pole, pole Target. Uh, we have to check if Pole Axis is OK. Uh, we see if the Pole, a good Pole for uh, this same transform is uh, the Up Axis. The forward axis is aiming towards the target, so just pick another axis for the pole. Uh, pole axis. So play the scene again. Uh, then we can just, uh, if we weigh in the pole weight here, we see another line that uh, we can change. Actually, let me just move the target up again. Now this is the pole target. And how it works, it, it can be used to uh, lock another axis uh, to this direction to the pole target. So that's what the pole, uh, pole thing is all about. Uh, then we have max iterations. Actually, in, in many cases you can do just the same with two. Uh, which, uh, it's defaulted to four just in case, uh, so so it, it would not uh, fail. But um, but usually you can do with less, uh, and we, it will be faster. Uh, there's also an option to use rotation limits. So if you don't uh, like to use this pole thing, you can just uh, set up rotation limits, uh, hinge limits for uh, the spine bones, if you like. Or if you uh, choose to also use the arm bones, you can set up a uh, hinge limit to the elbow or whatever. Actually, let me show you what happens if you uh, add some arm bones. Let's go and add upper arm, forearm and hand. The uh, thing with this setup is that you don't need to add every single bone. Uh, you, you can skip bones if you like. They just need to be uh, in the same uh, hierarchy. So, 
uh, and uh, and uh, another thing is that the aim transfer needs to be the child of uh, all those bones. So because it, it just rotates all those bones so that the uh, aim transfer aims at where it's supposed to be aiming. So let's try this now. Move it up. Now you see that actually if I just uh, disable the spine weights for a moment. You see now it only uses the arm bones to uh, get the target where you need it to be. The thing with this is that if you have uh, two-handed weapons, of course, rotating the right arm bones uh, will also rotate the weapon, but it won't rotate the left hand. So uh, there's a technique to uh, put the left hand back to where it was relative to the gun uh, after AIM IK solves. So you can actually use uh, arm bones for two-handed weapons and then just put the left hand back where it was. Uh, I will post a link to that. Uh, there's another tutorial for this uh, second arm thing. Uh, I will post a link to the comments of the, the de description of the video. So that basically concludes this uh, little tutorial. I hope you found it uh, useful and see you next time. Bye.